So this is a short video about how to copy and paste curves in Maya. And now I've got a little short piece of animation here. Uh, this is just a lamp hopping across a desk. And let's say I want to do another hop. Uh, now, because I've advanced the character across the screen, I can't turn on my infinity curves here. If I'd animated the, the lamp hopping on the spot, I would have been able to do that. But that isn't how I did it. I did it a different way. I animated the lamp across the screen, which means it's going to stay in place. The feet won't slip. I'm going to have control over the curves. But now if I want it to hop again, I've either got to do that manually or I've got to copy and paste the curves. Now I've put got the set on a separate layer in here. So if you don't know how to do that, watch the separate video on how to use the layer editor. So now we can also turn off select surface objects. And then if I select the um, global control underneath the lamp there and press F, I'll get the lamp up close like that. I've also created a shot camera over here. There's my shot cam. I've locked it off. You can see that's grayed out. You always want to lock off your shot camera. The button to do that is this little one up here um, with the with the little uh, blue lock on it. So let's say I want to copy these curves. So what I'm going to do, I could try and copy all of them at once, but Maya is not particularly good at copying and pasting curves. So I'm going to do this control by control. And I want to make sure that everything is keyframed at the beginning and the end of the shot. So I'm going to make sure that that control curve is keyframed at frame 1, S, and frame 41. And then the head control, I want to make sure that's keyframed at 41 and, um, and frame 1. This, um, uh, this system of copying and pasting curves, as I say, doesn't work particularly well. And it, the more complicated the rig, the less this is likely to work. There are tools you can uh, and plugins you can use. But this is just a sort of straightforward, out-of-the-box way of doing this in Maya. Um, now, so I've selected the base control here. So what I want to do is drag select these curves and then go Edit, Copy. And then I'm going to go to frame 41, just select the final keyframe, and then go Edit, Paste. And that should, if I'm lucky, paste the curves um, and it, it and it it's uh, yeah but I've got it now we we we've now got two um we've now got the same thing happening twice we've got two hops but of course I've got to extend my timeline from 41 to 82 because I've now got two hops or 81 is going to be my final frame 81 so um and the thing that won't copy successfully is the translate Z because that what what that one has done is actually moved backwards. So I've got to select the translate Z curve, and then I can see where the the, the here in the in the middle of the shot, uh, the lamp is moving backwards. So I want to grab those keyframes and then move those up, like that, um, so that the lamp is moving forwards. There we go. And now I've got two hops. Now I, at the moment I've only got the base of the lamp hopping. So I've also got to do the same thing with the head of the lamp. So that I'm going to select the head of the lamp there and then do exactly the same thing. Drag, select those curves, go edit, copy, and then go to frame 41. Select those curves there at the end and then go edit, paste. Hit A in my graph editor. I can see all of those curves. It's not going to work yet. Again, because of translate Z, that's going to give me some problems. So I've got to select Translate Z, hit A in the graph editor, zoom out a little bit, and then grab those curves and then move those up so that that head isn't sliding backwards in the course of the hop. And now, if I go ahead and look at what I've done, I've got one, two hops. And I may need to adjust a little, a little bit. You know, I may need to, to fiddle with this. You can see that head is still slightly kind of going backwards. And I want to just move that forwards a little bit, but um, overall, I've now got two hops on the lamp. And I can keep doing that as often as I like, and you can do this with any rig. But as I say, the bigger the rig, the more complicated it is, the more curves you're going to have to copy and paste, and the more difficult this process is. Now, there are plugins you can, um, you can use. There's particularly one called Studio Library 
which is very good for copying and pasting curves. It is a bit of a fiddle to install, but this is a kind of down and dirty, very basic and simple way to copy and paste curves in Maya.